Hello, 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 hello. Welcome. I'm sorry because I have problem with my internet again. Excuse me. Okay, let's begin with the class. Hello, everybody. Eduardo, Jorge, Elizabeth, Victor, Esaú. It's a pleasure to see you. How are you today? I will. You're good. Okay, I will take the attendance. Uh, Carlos? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Cindy? Yes, okay, Cristina? Cristina? Joshua? Esaú? Present teacher. Elizabeth? Jill? Giovanni? Present teacher. Thank you. Beatriz? Beatriz? Jennifer? Present teacher. Uh, Beatriz? Okay. No, Jennifer. Jennifer, Gen Jennifer okay. A second here. Uh, Jorge? Present teacher. Enrique? Bueno, sigue descansando, Enrique. Eh, Eduardo. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Alejandro. Luis Alejandro. Manuel. Manuel. Mario. Present. Thank you. Andrés. Oscar. Present. Thank you. Victor. Here. Thank you. Carlos Enrique. Carlos Enrique, are you there? Okay, good. Uh, uh, and I have some messages here. Give me a second. I will come. Uh, Jill, right? Jill is a present. Okay, Jill. Very good. Elizabeth, very good. Okay, the internet. Oh, the internet is a problem. Okay, okay, yes. okay good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, and then um, Jennifer Beatriz. Uh -huh. The oyente, yes. Okay, very good. Jennifer Beatriz, oyente. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and Oscar, voy de camino, says, right? Very good, Oscar. Thank you very much. Now, let's begin with the class, right? And I will beg you a big favor. I don't know if you can help me, please. Uh, I have a lot of problems to for connecting right tuve muchos problemas a la hora de conectarme y nos perdimos como unos 12 minutos aproximadamente um, yo quisiera pues molestarlos y nos quedamos este esos minutitos más tarde después de la clase no sé si hay problema o bueno hoy es viernes no, <ríe> no sé si tienen una salida después de la clase ahí pero pues vamos a reponer estos minutos verdad eh, Yo si tengo hasta las 7 de la mañana. Hasta las 7. <ríe> Tempranito. <ríe> ok, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Le, le aprecio mucho su, su ayuda y su comprensión, ¿verdad? Van a disculpar que. Teacher, ya estoy aquí. Ah, ok, Christy. Hello, welcome. Uh, Happy to see you, right? Ayer no pudo estar, ¿verdad, Christy? No, pues... Ayer no pude, fíjese, tuve un compromiso. Pero todo está bien. Todo está bien. Ah, ok, good. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Okay. Christy here, right? Presente. 
Solo me falta entonces Joshua y eh, Carlos Enrique, que no sé, siempre se conecta. Vamos a ver, Jill. Ok. I understand, Jill, no problem. No problem, you can disconnect early, no problem. Good, now let's share the information. Yes, let's share the information now. Ok, vamos a abrir el, la presentación para esta noche. Give me some seconds, please. Today is the class number eight, right? Okay. I'm opening the document. And this is a book, right? To share with you. Prepare for the sound. Okay, here we are. Let me share with you. I will close this. And share with you this information. One, two, three, right? Okay, can you see? Okay. Let's maximize the image. And listen, please. Page 61, exercise six, conversation. Fish for breakfast? Listen and practice. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay. Now listen again, please, and repeat. Listen again and repeat, please. Page 61. For breakfast? Listen and practice. Repeat. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. Okay. Come to my house. Repeat. Come on, repeat. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? Really? What do you have? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Oh, 
Okay, repeat after me, please. Breakfast. Together. Japanese style. Fish, rice, and soup. Interesting. Sometimes. Salad. Green tea. New things. New things. Okay. Now, uh, I need Carlos, please, and Cindy, please. Carlos, you are Sara, and Cindy, you are Kumiku. Kumiku. Okay. Ohio okay. Cosaimas. Okay. Yo soy Kumiko. No, no, no. You are Sara. Okay. And Cindy is Kumiko, right? Okay. okay. Action. Uh, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style. Baseball on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and salt. Finish for breakfast? That, that's interesting. Sometimes we, we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like try the new thing. Okie dokie, thank you very much for your participation. Now we're going to You're welcome. Oh, good. Now we're going to listen. Practice. Listen, listen. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, next couple, please. Ladies and gentlemen, Cristina and Esau. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, oh, sorry. Cristina is Sara, <laughs> and Esau is Kumiku. Kumiku. <laughs> oh, no, Kumiko. Right. <laughs> Eh, Ohio Cosaimas, Esau San. Yeah, okay, good. okay. Now, listen and, and I mean, practice. <laughs> One, two, three, action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always. Has a Japanese still breakfast on Sundays. Really? What did you have? We usually have fish, rice, and salt. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have a green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, thank you. Now repeat after me, please. Japanese style. Japanese style. 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 Jap Japanese style. Japanese style. No, e -e no. E -e no, only is no Japanese style. still no still not style right <laughs> listen japanese style japanese style style no 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 e no, no. E, no. e style no 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 is style is style only it's 
<laughs> no, is, no. Es aún no. Is, no. It's only the, the S, right? Solo el sonido de la S. Listen. Repeat, Christian, en esa U. No, esa U. No, no es, it's not is, no, no. <laughs> okay, so, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Japanese so... <laughs> style. Okay, Christy. Nice. <laughs> now it's your turn, Isabu. So come on. Japanese style. Japanese style. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Now repeat after me, please. Soup. 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 Inter Soup. Interesting. 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 Good. New things. New, new things. New things. New things. Okay, is that what? New things. New things. Things. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, let's go to the next couple, right? I have, let me see, uh, Elizabeth and Jill. Can you participate, Jill? Yes. Yes, okay, yes. good. So, Elizabeth, you are Sarah. And okay. Jill, you are Kumiko. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. My family always has happy side breakfast breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and salt. Fish for breakfast? That interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to dry new things. Okie dokie, very good, Jill and Elizabeth. Okay, very good. Now, next couple. Uh, this is going to be Giovanni versus, Giovanni versus, yes, Giovanni and Beatriz. No, no, Beatriz, no, excuse me, no, Giovanni and... Yes, yes, I'm here. Ah, yes, you can participate, Beatriz. Yes, I can. Oh, good. Sorry, uh, I, Beatriz, I, I have... Some problem with the internet, but I send you the message, right? Now you can participate now. Okay, very good. Yes, yes. Let me see. Jennifer, Beatriz. Ah, okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> That's you. So, um, Giovanni, you're going to be Sara. And okay. Beatriz, Beatriz, you're going to be Kumiko, right? Ladies and gentlemen, one, two, three, ready. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style. Breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's, that's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I'd like to try new things. Okay, very good. Nice. Yeah, imagine fish for breakfast. This is strange, right? Like you say, sopa de patas in, in, for breakfast. Oh, <laughs> okay. This is strange, right? Now, uh, let me see. I have uh, Jennifer and Jorge, right? Jennifer, you are Sara, and Jorge, you are Kumiko. Okay. Ready? One, Ready. two, three, action. Let's have breakouts tower on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has happened still breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? Well, actually, have finished, have fish and soap. 
fit for breakfast try interesting sometimes we have a salad too and we always have green tea well i never had fit for breakfast but like to drink new thing new thing right okay thank you very much good now listen please uh, uh, Jennifer, the, this word, right? Repeat us to me. Break. Break. Fast. Fast. Breakfast. Breakfast. Interesting. 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 Good. And then last, new things. New thing. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. And, and Jorge, listen, this is fish, rice. Fish and soup okay very good and this word is very difficult look Jorge, repeat please japanese style and start breakfast on sunday on the sun. okay if you don't believe me si no me cree que es difícil pregúntele esa u verdad <laughs> okay now again Jorge, the last time japanese style japanese style okay nice okay good next one thank you very much and I have Eduardo, okay, Eduardo versus, Eduardo and Mario, yes, Eduardo, you are Sara, and Mario, you are Kumiko. Okay. Mario is Kumiko, ready, Mario? Pero comienza Sara. No. Uh -huh, yes, Eduardo, you begin. <laughs> Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to come to my house. My family, my family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? Uh, we usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have a green tea. Well, I never eat fish for, bre for breakfast, but like to try new things. Okie dokie, nice, right? So the only thing that is not a green tea is only green tea only, right? Because remember, uh, liquids are not countable, right? Like you say, uh, for example, normally people say a coffee, but they refer to the cup of coffee, right? Like la taza de café, but coffee is no countable. No tea, no no juice, no soda, no petrol. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. No other liquid, right? No contour, right? Okay. Thank you very much. And let's go to the last participation for this conversation, right? I have Andres. And Oscar, Andres, you are uh, Sara, and Oscar, you are Kumiko. Oscar, Andres, are you ready? The Oscar is, do you copy? Diez cuatro, diez cuatro, diez cuatro. Okay, Oscar, Daniel, are you ready? Okay, so Victor, we're going to finish with Victor. Victor, are you ready? Hello, hello, do you copy? Yes. Victor, okay, Victor. Now uh, I will be Sara and you're going to be Comico, right? Ready? Okay. Okay. Uh, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. La conversación sería. Yeah, yeah, please. Uh, you are okay. your comico, Victor. Okay. okay. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, very good. So I will be comico, no problem. Okay, come to my house. My family always have a, has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Let's have breakfast. No, no, together. no, no, no. You say really? Really? Uh -huh, because you are Sara, right, Victor? Okay. Yes. Really? 
Yes. Yes, really? <laughs> really? This part, look. Really, what do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for break, breakfast. That inter interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never I, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, thank you very much, Victor. And thank you to the teacher. Ah, thank you. <laughs> okay, very good. Now we're going to practice the frequency adverse. Okay, very good. Here, right. Let me show you. Okay, listen, please. Page 61, exercise 7, grammar focus. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Okay, repeat after me, please. Always. Usually. Often. Often. Sometimes. 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 Hardly ever. Never. Okay. And then here we have some exercises, but we're going to go to the next page. Okay. Look at this. Here we have a list. Hardly ever, yes. Hardly ever, right? Okay, means eh, casi nunca. Casi nunca. Hardly ever, right? Okay, let me see. Listen this part. Page 62, exercise 8, listening. Really? Never? Part A. Paul and Megan are talking about food. How often does Megan eat these foods? Okay, we have here uh, Paul, and this is Megan. This is a nice couple, right? I imagine they're from Japan, I suppose, right? And then uh, they are in a restaurant this moment, right? And how often does Megan eat this food? For example, pasta. How often does Megan eat pasta, right? How often does Megan eat hamburgers or fish or eggs or broccoli, right? So you have three options here. Often, sometimes, or never. So we're going to check together. Ready? Here we go. Listen and check often, sometimes, or never. So what looks good, Megan? I don't know yet. Well, do you like pasta? Oh, yeah. I often eat pasta for dinner. I just don't want it tonight. What about a hamburger? Oh, no. I never eat hamburgers. I don't eat meat. Really? Never? No, never. Sometimes I have fish or eggs, but never beef. So, do you eat a lot of vegetables? Yes. Broccoli is my favorite. I often just have a big plate of broccoli for dinner. Okay, second time. Listen, please. Page 62, exercise 8, listening. Really? Never? Part A. 
Paul and Megan are talking about food. How often does Megan eat these foods? Listen and check often, sometimes, or never. So what looks good, Megan? I don't know yet. Well, do you like pasta? Oh, yeah. I often eat pasta for dinner. I just don't want it tonight. What about a hamburger? Oh, no. I never eat hamburgers. I don't eat meat. Really? Never? No, never. Sometimes I have fish or eggs, but never beef. So, do you eat a lot of vegetables? Yes. Broccoli is my favorite. I often just have a big plate of broccoli for dinner. Okay. You see? Now, the first thing that you have is pasta, right? Pasta. So, how often does Megan eat pasta? She the often... hamburger is uh, never. Hamburger the fish is never. and eggs. Okay, give, give, one by one. Give me a second. Give me a second. And the broccoli. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. <laughs> My goodness, Eduardo, you're really good. Excellent. But let's start with the hamburgers. Uh, Eduardo says that is never, right? Never. Okay, good. Now, fish, Eduardo. Sometimes and eggs sometime. equal okay. sometimes. Okay, now let's go to the broccoli for someone else, right? Eduardo, give me a second. Now, class, I need you to help uh, Eduardo, please. How often does Megan eat broccoli? How often? <laughs> My goodness. It's often. Often. Okay, very good. Often. Now listen to the audio and check if it is true or false, right? Check. Page 62. Paul and Megan are talking about food. How often does Megan eat these foods? Listen and check often, sometimes, or never. So, what looks good, Megan? I don't know yet. Well, do you like pasta? Oh, yeah. I often eat pasta for dinner. I often eat pasta, right? So, pasta often. Dinner. I just don't want it tonight. What about a hamburger? Oh, no. I never eat hamburgers. I never eat hamburger, right? Cling! Correct. Now, let's go to the next. I don't eat meat. Really? Never? No, never. Sometimes I have fish or eggs. Sometimes I have fish or eggs, right? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Eggs, but never beef. So, do you eat a lot of vegetables? Yes. Broccoli is my favorite. I often just have a big plate of broccoli for dinner. Okay, so broccoli often, right? Okie dokie, nice. Congratulations, right? This is about the, the adverse of frequency, right? Now, let's go to the manual, and we are going to check the manual to see uh, how to use adverse of frequency. Okay, let me see here. And now, let's go to the manual. Give me a second, please. Uh, I will close this material. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, give me a second here. Okay, here. Oh, sorry. Okay, it's opening, 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 and I will share with you. Manual, the manual is here. Okay, here, right? Can you see the manual? Okay, here, right? Look, we are here on page number 20, right? And we have more frequency alert. Look, page 20 of the manual, okay? We have, um, 
always is 100%. For example, I always get up at five o'clock. Okay. Now, saying about always, eh, um, Carlos, Carlos, you still listening? Carlos, todavía yes. Yes, I listen. Ah, okay, good, good. Excellent. No problem. Ahí me avisa cuando pueda participar, ¿verdad, Carlos? Okay. Yo puedo participar cuando usted me diga. Ah, oh, okay, good, <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> Excelentoso. Okay, I thought you were driving or something. No. Okay, now. I listen, I listen. Uh, okay, I always get up at five o'clock. Give me other example using always, Carlos. Uh, usually. No, no, always. Usually, always. no. Always. Always. Uh -huh. Always. Uh -huh. I always get up at five o'clock. Oh, but come on, Carlos. This is the example in the book. <laughs> but it's... Uh, other example. Uh huh. Other example. Uh huh. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I love. I I always and um, watch TV in the night. Very good. He always watch TV. Watches TV at night, right? At night. At night. At, at night. night. At night. Good. Thank you, Carlos. Okay. Now, ninety percent usually. He usually drives to work. Carlos usually drives to work, right? And now, Cindy, please. Can you give me one example, Cindy, using usually? Um, I usually... Um, Permítame. Ok. No problem. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice eh, levantar temprano? Get up early. Get up early. Ok. Uh, perdón, este, acostar tarde es. Ah, ok. <laughs> ok, lo contrario. Okay. Sí. Ok, I will copy here for you. Look. Go. Uh, go to bed early. Go okay. to bed early, right? And go to bed late. Tarde. Late. For example, we, we go to bed late. Todos los de esta clase nos acostamos tarde, ¿va? Por estar aquí aprendiendo inglés. <laughs> ¿Ok? Sí. Ok, please, your example. Well, I usually go to bed. Go to bed late. Ok, very good. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you very much. Now, Cristina, please. 80% normally. She normally checks her email. I normally have breakfast. I normally play football. Okay, your example, please, Cristina. I normally um, listen music. Uh, you normally listen to music, right? Thank you very much. Often, 70%. Look, I often have breakfast at work. I often uh, eat pupusas, right? Now, please. Uh, Esau, give me one example, please. ¿Con cuál dijo, teacher? Perdón. With often. Um. I often I have it I often, repeat please. I often eat, or, or, or voy a leer la oración, o okay. un ejemplo. Yes, yes. No, no, okay. no, 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 one example. One example. Please. Okay. Um, I often uh, have eat 12 of... I, I often eat... At work. Okay, repeat. I often eat. I often have eat. No, okay, but only one. So, solo usenme un verbo. Vamos a ver. Comer ah, o okay. tener. Ajá. 
Um, I often eat uh -huh. at 12 o'clock in work. Okay, excellent. <laughs> I often eat at 12 o'clock at work, right? Nice. Thank you. So, good example. Now, sometimes, sometimes it's a 50%, right? La mitad, half. Uh, so, but just give me a second here. Okay, Jill, please give me one example, Jill. Sometimes. She sometimes uses the microwave. Uh, I sometimes uh, go to the supermarket. Um, they sometimes play football, right? Your example, please, Jill. I sometimes clean my agency. 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 Okay, I very good. Clean. Repeat, please. I sometimes. I sometimes clean my agency. You, you sometimes clean the agency. Clean. Yes, clean. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jill. Now, occasionally. Listen. Este no lo habíamos escuchado hasta ahorita, ¿verdad? Occasionally. How do you say occasionally in Spanish? En ocasiones. Okay, very good. Okay, Giovanni, please give me one example. Here the example it says, I occasionally work over time. Uh, okay. I occasionally try in my work. Okay, nice. You occasionally drive to your work. Nice, Giovanni. Good. The next example, right? This is for Beatriz. Uh, seldom. Seldom is... Um, algunas veces, pocas veces, right? Seldom. He says, we seldom take calls to work, at work, sorry. We seldom uh, use credit card, for example, right? We seldom eat tacos. Mm -hmm. Your example, Beatriz? My son I seldom, seldom. Mm -hmm. goes to work early, goes, goes to sleep early. <laughs> okay, so the majority of the time you go to sleep late, right? Sorry, Beatriz. Me too, me too, I have to. <laughs> and tonight is, is a little bit worse, right? Esta noche, pues, por mi culpa le va a ir mal a ustedes, van a costar 10 minutos tarde. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Echen la, culpa al, echen la culpa al teacher, ahí al internet también del teacher, sorry. Okay, Beatriz, thank you very much. Now, let me see. Eh, Jennifer me dijo que podía participar, ¿verdad, Jennifer? Okay, look. 5%, Jennifer. Hardly ever, or you can say rarely. Este sí cuesta pronunciar. Vamos a ver. Rarely. 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 For example, he rarely has a conference. I rarely eat eh, pacaya. <laughs> I rarely eat pacaya. Good. Your example, Jennifer? Uh, rarely uh, is a... Uh, mm. I will copy. I will copy, Jennifer. Give me a second. I will copy for you. Okay. I rarely... Mm -hmm. Jennifer? As conference. Okay, I rarely have conference. Yes. Repeat, please. Repeat. I rarely I have conference. Okay, very good. You rarely have conferences. Nice. And never, never than never, right? This is for uh, Jorge. Ready, Jorge? 
Ok, never. I never get up, get late to work. Nunca llego tarde al, al trabajo. I never get late. No sé si puedo participar otro momento que ahorita estoy viendo un trabajo. Aquí en el no trabajo. hay problema, Jorge. Adelante, go ahead. Ah, okay. Muchas gracias. Por mi dele, dele, dele. No, no hay problema. No, ok, no. thank you. Now, eh, Eduardo, please. Give me one example, Eduardo. Hardly ever or with never, really? never, no, never, ah, never. Mm -hmm. Okay. I never had an accident. Okay, I hope. Car. I hope that, Eduardo. Sorry. I hope that, right? Espero que sí, que nunca va a tener un accidente, verdad? Thank you. Solo, solo, Eduardo, solo que no viaje por los chorros, porque <ríe> ahí sí a cada rato, ¿verdad? Sí, che. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. ¿Cómo dijo que se pronuncia? Se dice tarde. Late. Late. Ajá, uh -huh. I will copy here. Uh -huh. Ah, pues ahí never get up late. <ríe> <ríe> oh, sorry. Late and early, right? Early. Sí, che. I was right. I was right in the carretera Los Chorros at oh, 11 p.m. or 1, 1 a.m. 1 a.m. Yes, it, it, when, it, when, when I'm in construction or where I'm in construction, the Redondel de Opico. Ah, sorry. Yes. Complicated, I, right? I And, stay, I stay uh, um, three hours. No. Two hours. It's one one year at uh, only forty feet, forty five minutes. Or uh huh, in in the in the morning, la madrugada, right? Yes. Forty five minutes. Okay. Uh, I had problems in in, in carretera los chorros because uh, long time ago when they were well were making the road, right? Si se recuerdan la carretera era de asfalto y la cambiaron a concreto, right? Okay, fue en el gobierno de Mauricio Funes que se hizo esa calle. Entonces, me tocaba a mí pasar todas las noches ahí, you know? Two hours, dos horas, tres horas. Okay, it was a disaster. But never, I never had an accident, right? Thank God. Okay, now let's continue, right? These are activities that are explained using the frequency. And notice that when you use the frequency, you copy First, the subject, the frequency adverb, and the verb. Subject, frequency adverb, and verb. Subject, frequency adverb, verb. Subject, frequency adverb, verb. Etc., etc., etc. Right? Understand? Okay. Now, let's go to the next part. Let me see. Let's go to the presentation. To the presentation. Teacher, eh, me yeah. voy a salir. Me voy a cambiar de, de, de dispositivo. Okay, Yo Mario. No, no problem, Mario. I understand. No problem. Take your time. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to English for Work. Today is Friday, and your body knows it, right? Y el cuerpo lo sabe, right? So, uh, today is April 28th. We are going to learn how to use have to and need to, right? Tener que, necesitar que, okay? So, that is have to, need to, right? Okay, let's go to the objective. I will be able. I will be able to what? Giovanni, can read the, can you read the objective for the class, please? Read. Sorry. Can you read the objective for the class, please? Puede leer el objetivo, please? Can you read? Okay. I will be I will to state the frequency of activi activities I do in my work 
and use expression to state uh, <laughs> or this, urgency, 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 or command. Commands. Commands. Command. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, let's go to the next one, right? What are three things you do every day in your workplace? Let me see who's going to answer this question. Who's going to help me? Okay, uh, Esau. What are three things you do every day in your work? For example, there are many activities. For example, check the email, repair computers, repair uh, machines, mm, uh, transport products. Mm, I don't know. What? A, tell me three activities, Esau. Okay. <clears throat> mm, receive a payment. Clientes, clients, 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 uh -huh. um, check email and limpieza, clean, <laughs> clean, cleaning. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Now, what is something you never do in your workplace? Something you never do. Do you cook in your office? Do you sleep? Not. Do you sleep <laughs> in the office? Do you sleep? Do you not sleep? Uh, okay, you don't sleep. <laughs> okay, thank you, Saul. Thank you very much. Now, let's continue, right? Here we have a uh, reading, right? Sorry. Here we have a reading, right? Uh, for Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson, right? And uh, we are going to read some information about Mr. Wilson and, and correct some sentences, right? Good, listen. Uh, hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. Uh, I am a human resources manager. Mm, every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. Okay, this information is about Mr. Mr. John Wilson, right? And we're going to make some correction. But for the moment, I need you listen, please. I mean, you read. Right, necesito que lean en lo que voy a pasar la asistencia. For the second time. Ready? Oopsie. Here we go. Eh, Carlos. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Cindy. Present. Thank you. Cristina. Present. Esaú. Here. Thank you. Elizabeth. Jill? Yes, sir. Giovanni? Here, teacher. Beatriz? Present. Thank you. Jennifer Guadalupe? Present, teacher. Jorge? Okay, por ahí está Jorge, pero está un poquito ocupado ahorita, ¿verdad? Good. And Eduardo? Present. Thank you. Alejandro? Manuel, Mario, 
present. Thank you, Mario. Eh, Andrés. Hello, Andrés. Do you copy? Ok. Me pareció que Andrés estaba en la, al principio de la clase o, o fue en mi imaginación. Alguien, alguien lo vio. <ríe> al gran Andrés. Que no me recuerdo, me parece, es que le tomé asistencia, pero ahora no está allá. O sea, no sé si se desconectó. Bueno, ok, así dejemos. Vamos a ver, Oscar. Oscar Daniel. Present. Thank you, Oscar. Eh, Victor. Present. Thank you. And Carlos Enrique. Qué raro que Carlos Enrique haya faltado ahora. Bueno. Y tengo un mensaje por acá, dice present, Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth. Está de oyente, Elizabeth. Yes. Good. Now, let's do it together. Let's start together. Good. Uh, his name is John Wilkins. What is the correct sentence? Please read and make the correction. His name is John Wilkins. What is the correct information, class? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. His name. Oh, sorry. His name is. John Wilson, right? Así como la pelota de, del náufrago, ¿verdad? Wilson, ok, Wilson. His name is John Wilson, correct. Thank you, Jill. Now, he writes reports every day. He writes reports every day. What is the correct information? Every day, uh, check email. email. Uh -huh. He checks emails every day. Okay. Very good. Now, he never answered the phone and talked to customers. He never he always he always my goodness hoy está bien pulsudos ya lo vi congratulations eh he always no never right it's he always answer answers the phone and and blah 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 okay good he often attends uh, meetings in the morning. He often attends meetings in the morning. What is the correct information? He attends meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So in this case, he, he always attends meetings in the morning. Mm. Okay, let me give me a second. And in the morning, I will read. Let me see. Let me see. I I I want to check here. Thank you, Beatriz. But let me see. It says generally I attend meetings in the morning. Okay, so in this case, is generally or often? Generally. General, right? So we say he. Give me a second. He generally attends meetings in the morning. In the morning, right? Okay, thank you. He never attends meetings in the afternoon. It's true. All right. So what is the correct information?
Uh huh. One student, please. I will read for you. Look. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. So, he, he attends meetings in the morning. Uh huh. But what about the afternoon? Yes or no? So often. The, no, no, right? Okay. So, he doesn't. He doesn't often attend. Um, what is the sentence? Attends. Attend, sorry. Meetings in the afternoon. Okay, thank you. You see, he doesn't often attend meetings in the afternoon, right? It says never. But it's not true. He's mm, not so often, right? Not so often. It means no muy frecuente, pero sí va, ¿no? Okay, number six. He usually has events in his company. In his company, sorry, excuse me. He usually has events in his company. On. No. No, no. Always. He always. Uh -huh. Let me we see. How? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then we are terminating in the conference. So in this case, it's always, right? Mm -hmm. He always. He always. Has events. In his company, right? Mm-hmm. He always has events in this in his company, right? No, usually, right? Okay. Questions, class? Questions? No questions? Okay, okay. I will erase this and move this here, right? Okay, I will repeat one more time and I will ask some students to help me reading the, the this information, right? Now it says, uh, ah, I have a message. Eh, Eduardo. Okay, pero me imagino que ya está estable, ¿verdad, Eduardo? Ya está estable nuevamente su internet. Ahorita sí ya recuperó, pero eh, está así como que falla, viene, vaya, falla, viene, eso. me saca de la reunión y todo eso. Híjole, bueno, si el Pero en lo que se pueda, aquí voy a estar pendiente. Lo que se bueno, pueda. bueno, aprovechando, Eduardo, eh, usted me dice si puede o no. ¿Podría quedarse conmigo 10 minutos después de la clase? Ok, no problem, teacher. Solo queríamos como hasta las 10 y 20, más o menos. No hay problema. No, no hay problema. Problem. <risa> ok, thank you, Eduardo. Thank you very much. Entonces lo voy a agendar por aquí. Mi salvación para esta noche. Thank you, Eduardo. Okay, now, listen, please. Um, hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I'm a human resources manager. Every day, I check email for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Okay? So please, I need one student to read. Vamos a ver, ¿qué me ayuda a leerlo nuevamente? Volunteers? Okay, Giovanni. Giovanni and Eduardo, right? So first, first Giovanni and then Eduardo. Go ahead, Giovanni. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am human resource manager. Every day I check email 
for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to po potential employees. Generally, I attend meeting in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July. July? 21. Huh? July 21st. July 21st. 21st. Mm -hmm. July 21st. And then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22. 22nd. Yeah. 22nd. Uh -huh. <laughs> I see that. No problem. Sorry. <laughs> the ordinal number, right? 22nd. I am always busy. Busy. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Giovanni, now clap for, for, for Dudley, right? Uh, congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Now, Eduardo, it's your turn. Please read. Hello, my name is John Wilson. I work in an office. I am human resource manager. Every day I check emails for the company. I always answer the phone and talk to potential employees. Generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. In my company, we always have events. We have to attend a conference on July 21st, and then we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. I am always busy. Excuse me, teacher, I don't remember what is the meaning busy. Ocupado. Okay, thank you. Welcome, right? Busy. So all the time, working, studying, studying English, working, work. I imagine the same for you, right, Eduardo? You work, you study English. You work, you study English. Okay. okay. <laughs> Busy, busy, this is busy, right? Okay, class, any extra question? Now, let's continue. Don't stop. More action, more action. Oops. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Okay. Now, Mr. John Wilson. No, Wilkins. Milk, uh, Wilson, right? Now, here we have the use of titles. Mister is a title for a man, like we say in Spanish, right? Don. Don Giovanni. Don Eduardo, right? So in El Salvador, we use Don. But in the United States, we say Mister. Mister Flores. Okay, Mister Rivas Rivera. Right? Oh, Mr. Galdames Calderon. Oh, Mr. Laines Dia, right? So this is a title. And we use this uh, for men that are married. Dun, 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 dun. Married, right? And no married. For example, Esau, are you married? Dun, 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 dun. Are you married? Or single? Or single. Single. Oh. Are you sure? I will I will check your name in Procuraduría de la República. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Now, so uh, it's always uh, single. So we say Mr. Galdames Calderón. Okay. Who is married in the group? Uh, Jorge, uh, no. Jorge, are you married? No, Jorge is working right now. Let me see. Eduardo, married or single? Married. Oh, very good. I'm okay. married. Uh, uh, Eduardo, or who? ¿Quién el casado? ¿Quién el... Mi coach. Mi teacher. Yo. Uh, okay. Mi. Como son dos, permítame. Give me your name, please. Eduardo Flores is Eduardo. married. Okay, very good. And Carlos? No. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, excuse I'm me. <laughs> excuse me. Me equivoqué por decir congratulations. Dije lo siento. Sorry. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Congratulations. Yes. 
Break woman, right? Soportar una situación así solo es de valientes. <laughs> hey, what happened? No, no, but you're happy, right? Okay. You have to wash the dishes, but we are happy. <laughs> yes, in this moment, I, I was happy. <laughs> in actuality, I continue happy. Okay, very good, Eduardo. Now, so Mary, Mr. Flores. Esaú, single, Mr. Galdames, no problem. Sorry, sorry, uh, Mary. Mary, Danda. Ah, Esaú. Uh -huh, Esaú. Ojalá no le hayan escuchado ahí al fondo porque no, no va a amanecer mañana. <ríe> ok. <ríe> married. Married. So don't forget. Forever and ever. Married. <ríe> ok. Aunque sea por ahí, este. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Haciendo el, el esfuerzo ahí, ¿verdad? Washing the dishes. <ríe> doing the laundry. Taking out the garbage, etc., etc., right? Okay. Cooking the breakfast. Uh huh. <laughs> yes, cooking the breakfast. <laughs> now, and then, Miss, Mrs. is for married. Okay. Miss is for married and not married, right? Miss, for example, let me see. Who, uh, Christy, are you married, Christy? Mary. Mary, okay, so you are Mrs. Rivera. Okay, pero también podemos decirle. Mrs. Caravantes. Caravantes. Ah, okay. Mrs. Caravantes. Ah, I like this last name, right? Me gusta ese apellido, Chris. Uh -huh. Caravantes. Okay. Sí. Miss, Mrs. Caravantes. Or you can say, también podemos decir Miss Caravantes. Este Miss es para ambas, las que son casadas y las que no son casadas. Y Mrs. es solo para casada, ¿sí? Then we have Miss. Is single, right? Single. Eh, soltera. Solo soltera, nada más. ¿Ok? Good. Let me see. Beatriz, you're single or married? Be Beatriz? Married. Married. Ok, so you are Mrs. Mrs. Eh, Cepeda? No. Yeah. Ok, good. <laughs> Excellent, right? Jill, married or single? Jill? Sorry? Married. Married. Okay, good. Ah, yes, de Castellanos. Nice. Mrs. Mrs. de Castellanos. Mm. It sounds like uh, Spain, right? Me suena un apellido de, de España, Jill. <laughs> yes. Vamos a ver, de la chica, entonces. Eh, Jennifer, single or married? Dan, dan, dara, dan, dan, dara. Married or single, Jennifer? Married. Married, okay, good. Mrs. Rivas, right? Mrs. Rivas, nice. Bueno, todos, todas las chicas acá están casadas. No puedo usar un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Pero Miss es para alguien que no está casado, ¿sí? Okay. Now, look at this. Nickname. What is a nickname? For example, my name is David. My nickname is Dave. My name is Antonio. My nickname is... Toño. Toño. Toño, Toñito, right? <laughs> my nickname is Jose. My nickname is... My name is Jose and my nickname is... Pepe. Pepe o Chepe, right? Chepe, Pepe. Ok, my name is Guillermo. My nickname is? Memo. Memo, Memito, Mito, right? <laughs> ok. Uh, my name is um, Jennifer, right? My nickname is Jenny. Ok. My nickname is Elizabeth, but my nickname is Betty, right? Mm -hmm. My name is Christina, my nickname is Christy, right? Okay. 
And for Jill, no, for, para Jill no le tengo, sorry. <laughs> Jill, Jill, only, right? <laughs> okay, Eduardo, guayos, people say guayos, right? Yes. Yes, okay, nice. And for, let me see, Cindy, Cindy, right? Mario, Mario. Carlos, I don't know, Charlie, maybe. <laughs> Okay, and, and Jorge? Carlos is Kalin. Kalin, it's true. Kalin, it's true. Okay, now, here we have some examples. Class, look. We have some examples. James, Jim. Peter, Pete. Robert, Bob. Timothy, Tim. Thomas, Tom. William, Bill. Elizabeth, Liz, or Betty, right? Jennifer, Jenny. Judith, Judy. Catherine is Katy or Kate. Patricia is Patty. And Susan is Sue. Sue, Peggy Sue. Mm, Sue. Okay? Excuse no. me. What is the different pronunciation? Sue and Sue. Sue for zoological and Sue. Ah, with S. And with Z. Listen. Su. And so logical is Zu. The copy. Yeah. Su is the name. And Zu is the place. Right? You got it? I got it. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we have other names. For example, how do you say... Okay. In English and in Spanish. I will copy here. Juan. Juan, John, right? John. But uh, in Spanish, how do you Francisco. say? Francisco. Paco, right? Or Chico. Chico. Okay. No, excuse me. Francisco is Spanish. What is the English? <laughs> okay, Frank. Frank. But remember, we don't translate the, the name. Los nombres no se traducen, sin embargo, tienen nombres como equitativos. Por ejemplo, el caso de William. William in Spanish. Guillermo. William. Guillermo. Ok, Daisy. Rosa. No. Margarita. No, Margarita. 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 Mm -hmm. I have a, I have a, a cousin or prima. Uh -huh. her, her, name name is... Is, her name is Daisy Margarita. Hey, what happened? Margarita, Margarita, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, nice. And then we have other names, like, for example, um, uh, John, you know, John is Juan, right? One. Uh, Peter. Peter is. Hombre araña. Right? Ah, no, excuse me, no. Pedro. Okay. <laughs> That's it, right? Now, any question? Okay. Now, let's continue. Let's continue. Mm, sorry, no, no puedo mover la... Ahí está. Good, class. Now we're going to practice, right? Only the teacher speaks. Now the students are going to speak. Repeat after me, please. How often does your boyfriend call you? Repeat, please. How often does your boyfriend call you? He calls me every night. He calls me every night. And then look, I have the subject pronouns. I say I, he, she, it. We, you, and they. And then I have the object pronouns. Me, him, her, 
it, us, you, them, right? So when I say, I give you the book. She gives me the book. You give her the book. They give us the books, right? These are examples of subject and object. The one that makes the action and the one that receives the action, receive the action, right? Now, let's go to number one. How often do you use your computer? I use... I use me, I use him, I use her, or I use it. What is the computer? The computer is I, we, she, it, or we. What, what do you think? ¿Qué pronombre le damos la computadora? It. 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 Excellent. So now, uh, I have right now uh, Victor. Victor is going to be letter A. How often you say, right? Usted me va a leer esta parte, mire Oscar. How often? No, Victor, perdón. Victor, okay. And then Oscar, you're going to answer. How often do you use your computer? I use my computer or I use it. En lugar de decir computadora, ¿verdad? Me va a decir, I use it. Right? Every every day. Right? Ready? Okay, so Victor, you make the question. Oscar, you make the answer. Ladies and gentlemen. Action. How often do you use your computer? Uh -huh, Oscar. Okay, give me a second. Tengo un mensaje. Uh, Carlos Portillo. Oh, está fallando, ¿verdad? Sí, Carlos. Ahora yo tuve problemas serios. Porque no, Zoom no me dejaba entrar. A veces, de repente, no sé qué pasa con internet, que, que no está fallando. Y el mío es un poco fuerte, de 70 megas. Pero aún así, pues, de repente. El, 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 el compañero es de Happy. Es una compañía que empieza con T. No le voy a decir el nombre porque, por derechos de autor, ¿verdad? Pero. Rigo. Ah, eh, Rigo, no sé quién es Rigo, no sé. Ok. Eh, pero un día esto que me peleé con el vecino, pues no sé, me cortó la. la, la... Hey, what happened? La que Eduardo, ¿verdad? Right? Eduardo tiene que estar feliz con el vecino, ¿eh? No. Hay que llevarle cenita al vecino, Eduardo. <risa> ok, let's continue, right? So, eh, Oscar, please. Repeat the, the sentence, please. No, entonces me va a ayudar. Eh, Mario, are you ready, Mario? Okay, so Victor, make the question. Sí. Okay, thank you, thank you, Mario. Thank you very much. Now, Victor, repeat the question. How often do you use your computer? I use it, Mario, I use it. Uh -huh, Mario, I use it. Mario, 104, 104, Mario, Mario. Perdón, tenía el micrófono apagado. Ah, ok, good. Ajá. Uh -huh. I use it. I use it. Uh, look. No. Look, every day. Ah, mm. 
Okay. Again, I use it. I use, I use it. it every day. Okay. Thank you very much. Right. Now let's go to the second one. The second one is uh, write to your son. ¿Con qué frecuencia le escribe a tu hijo? Right. And then what is the object pronoun for son? Daddy. No. Him. Right? Okay, number two is him. Now, I will have uh, mm -hmm. Eduardo, right? Eduardo versus Jorge. Jorge, are you ready, Jorge? Permítame que Jorge está trabajando, entonces no sé si puede ahorita. Jorge? Hello, hello. No, entonces eh, Jennifer Guadalupe, right? So Eduardo, ready? No. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Eh, Jennifer will make the question. Jennifer, usted haga la pregunta y Eduardo le contesta. Yes. Okay, teacher. How often does your good friend call no. you? No. Okay. Wait. Wait. You're going to go to number two, right? Vamos a la conversación oh. dos. Okay. How often do you? How often do you write to your son? Him. I write. Uh, I write two or three. No, no. I write him. Um. I write. I write him. Once a week. No, number two. Right, I ah, okay. I write him every week. Okie dokie, nice, right? So, number one. How no, often do you use your... No, no, it's difficult. Es que está difícil. Es de ir componiendo la oración. Eduardo. Listen. How often do you use your computer? I use it every day. How often do you write to your son? I write him every week. So here, aquí, aquí les he enseña, señalado el, el him y el it, right? Ahora vamos a la tres. Number three. How often? ¿Con qué frecuencia? How often? How often do you clean your windows? Okay, nice. Eh, thank you, Jennifer. Eh, que le conteste esta pregunta. Déjeme ver, ya le voy a decir quién le va a contestar. Eh, le va a contestar Beatriz. Repeat the question, Jennifer. Uh, how often do you clean your windows? I clean my windows every okay, month. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. Window, right? Them, right? I clean them. Okay, again. Jennifer, repeat the question. Okay. Okay. How often do you clean your window? I clean them every month. Okay. You deserve clap for, for doodly, right? Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Doodly. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jennifer, and thank you, Beatriz. Good. Now, let me see. Uh, we're going to practice another conversation similar to this. Okay. Now, look. How does your boyfriend, how often, sorry, does your boyfriend call you? ¿Con qué frecuencia te llama tu novio? Y pues le contesta, he calls me every night. No la deja en paz a la chica, ahora todas las noches está llamándole. De allá cuando están casados ni le hablan. Okay. Yes, okay. Now, listen, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. How often does your boyfriend call you?
He calls me every night. He calls me every night. Okay. Now we'll erase this. Vamos a ahorrar esto que escribimos aquí. Okay, very good. Now, let's go to number one. How often do you visit your aunt in Minnesota? How often do you visit? Oh, number five. How often do you wash your car? How often do your grandchildren call you? Los nietos, right? Los nietos. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. After Beatriz, we have Giovanni. Mm -hmm, Giovanni. And Jill. So, uh, Jill, you make the question. And Giovanni, the answer. Number four. Number four. Ready? One, two, three. Action. Tren. Again, again. How often? Okay, C casi no se le copia, eh, Jill. Pero sí, sí, yo sé que lo leyó. Yo sé porque se, se le escuchó ahí en Minnesota, right? Okay. Now, eh, please. Giovanni. I never visit my own in Minnesota. I never visit my own in Minnesota. In Minnesota, sorry. But listen to this, Giovanni. I never visit her, right? Why her? Because the aunt is a woman, right? So for that reason, look. I will tell you this. Her, right? I visit her. I never visit her. Ah, no, no, pero, pero aquí creo que estamos un poquito mal, Giovanni, porque tenemos que usar la expresión every weekend. Entonces, no podemos usar never, entonces. Ah, uh, ¿sí? ok. Sí, va, vamos a ver otra vez. Eh, Jill, make the question again. Háganos la pregunta otra vez. Jill. Ah, uh -huh, Giovanni. I no. visit. I visit. Uh, aún. No, I visit her. No me va a decir tía porque estamos usando nuestros oye pronoun, ¿sí? Ah. Se trata de yo, soy me. I visit me. Cuando se trata de él, him. Cuando se trata de I her. Yeah, her. her, yes. Otra vez. I, I, I visit her every every year in every weekend Minnesota. every weekend ah uh, every weekend okay in minnesota okay. oh yes in minnesota but i visit her every weekend right simple like that thank you giovanni thank you very much jill and now esau versus esau versus esau and christy Conversation five. How often do you wash your your nave? <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. The question is for uh, Christy. Christy, you make the question. And Esau, you make the answer, right? Every Sunday. One, two, three, action. How often do you wash your car? You wash. I wash. I wash. Never. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, que never. No, mentiras. <laughs> mentiras. <laughs> ahora, este, el Saúl está esperando que llueva para que el sol. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> okay. Okay. I wash. 
Eat. Uh, eat. Eat. Car. No, no, car no, only no. eat. eat. I so wash it. Uh -huh. I wash it. I wash it. Eat. No, no. Every eat. weekend. Ah, okay. I wash it every weekend, right? Now, very good. The last conversation between Cindy. Cindy, ready? And Carlos. Carlos me dijo que le está fallando. Okay. Que está fallando. Carlos, ¿cómo estamos ahí con el internet? Creo que ese salió Carlos, pero vamos a ver. Si sí, no lo veo. Ah, cómo no. Aquí está Carlos. ¿Cómo estamos con su internet, Carlos? 10-4. Carlos, Carlos. Mr. Portillo, Mr. Portillo. Presentarse a cabina, presentarse a cabina, Mr. Portillo. No, no, bueno. Entonces alguien me le va a ayudar a, a Cindy, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Beatriz, please. Can you help me, Beatriz? You make the question. And uh, Cindy make the answer, right? Okay. How often do your grandchildren call you? Um... They... They, they, them? No, they call me. They call me every Sunday. Okay, nice. Very good. Nice. Now, uh, let's go to the next. And we're going to learn about some idioms. Ah, no, we still have some, some. Three more conversations. Todavía tenemos tres conversaciones más. Y luego, ah, sí, todavía falta una conversación en el libro, ¿verdad? Que está bien cortita, pero la vamos a hacer, sí. Todavía tenemos tiempo. Este, uh, por ahí me dijo alguien que tenía que retirarse a las 10, ¿verdad? Déjenme ver quién es el que me dijo. Uh, ah, Elizabeth. Elizabeth ha estado haciendo participar. Ah, no, ¿verdad? Solo he estado oyente ahorita, Elizabeth. Y quiero ver. Este, Jill. Ah, Jill me dijo que se iba a retirar a las 10, ¿verdad, Jill? Bueno, no hay problema. No hay problema, Jill. Pero con los demás nos quedamos hasta las, hasta las 10 y 10. Y de ahí voy con, con don Eduardo hasta las 10 y 20, ¿verdad? Ok. So let's continue. Let me see. Uh, Victor and, and Cindy, please. Vamos a repetir con Cindy. So Cindy, you make the question. Okay. And then he says, how often does your boyfriend call you? He calls me every night. Now, how often? Number how seven. Often, often, how often does your boss say Hello, to you. Uh -huh. Victor? He? I suppose the boss is, is a man, right? Podría ser una mujer, pero veamos que es un él. Ah, no, aquí está es una ella, ve. O oh, bueno, ahí no se entiende quién es el jefe, ¿verdad? Sí, es una ella. Entonces, Víctor. Víctor, Víctor. Ready, Víctor? Ok. Repeat the question. Cindy, repeat the question. Repítame la pregunta, Víctor. Y, y lo, luego yo le ayudo a Víctor. Uh -huh. Ok. How often does your boss say hello to you? <laughs> Victor, dígame, she. She. Mm -hmm. She. She says. She says. She self. She says. Ella dice. Vamos a copiarlo, si le parece, Victor, para que no, para que todos entendamos la dinámica, sí. Uh, she... Vamos a copiar lo que. Porque lo que nos cuesta es usar el object pronoun, ¿verdad? She says. Ella me dice, ¿qué dice? El número siete. 
Dice hello, ¿verdad? Ok. ¿A quién le dice hello? ¿Víctor? ¿A él, a ella o a mí? Sí. No, sería a mí, me dice, ¿verdad? Porque la pregunta, mire, Víctor, dice, How often does your boss, tu jefe, o tu jefa, en este caso es una ella, ¿verdad? Say hello to you. So, she say hello. To you. No, es, mire, aquí está, me, a mí, a mí, a, me dice hola a mí. Uh -huh. Ajá. ¿Qué más? Every morning. Every morning. Ok, ahora sí, vamos a hacerlo completito, ¿sí? Eh, Cindy, please, the last time, please make the last time the question. How often does your boss say hello to you? She says to every morning. She says hello to me. She says, she says hello to, to, to me? me every morning, every oh. morning. Thank you, thank you. Lo felicito porque está complicado este ejercicio, ¿verdad? Hay que estarle dando vuelta a las cosas y ver, aprenderse los object pronouns, ¿sí? Vaya, vamos a ver, zoológico. ¿Quién vamos a poner a hablar del zoológico? Cristi. And... Oscar, Oscar, can you do you copy Oscar? ¿Estamos listos, Oscar? Yes. Okay, thank you, Oscar. Now, en Christy, ¿estamos listos, Christy? Yes. Yes, excellent. Okay, so Oscar, you make the question, number eight. And Christy, you make the answer, right? Quiero decirles que los animals, los animales, usan este object pronoun, mire, them. ¿Ve? Ese que está aquí. Ya lo voy a poner. Uy, 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 quiero ver. Ahí está, este es, mire. Es el que va a usar, ¿ok? Vamos, Cristi. Now, make the question, Oscar. One, two, three, action. How often do you feed the animal? Them. No. Do you feed? So, ¿con qué frecuencia usted, Cristina? Entonces, usted va a contestar con I, yo. Ok, I. I feed. I feed. I feed them every ah. afternoon. Okie dokie. <laughs> My goodness, thank you, Christy. Está en la jugada, Christy, ok. Congratulations, sí. Es que lo que pasa es que hay que darle vuelta a la conversación, ¿verdad? Muy bien. And then we finish. Vamos a tener estas conversaciones con eh, Esaú. Y me va a ayudar eh, Mario. Mario, ready, Mario. ¿Estamos listos, Mario? Mr. González, Burgos, ready? Ready. Good, good. ¿Qué, ¿A quién le dejamos la pregunta? Dejemos el amario. Esa V quiere contestar ahí, ¿verdad? <ríe> Pero, este... Ajá, sí. Muy bien. Eh, hace la pregunta a Mario y contesta a esa U. Ready? Action. Uh, what number? Number nine. How often do you think about me? I think about, about you? me. No, about you. About, about you all the time. Okay, very good. Oh. Sí, bueno, eh, eh, en realidad esta conversación es romántica. <laughs> Pero aquí lo vamos a hacer de amistad, oigan, sí. Que okay, dice, ¿con qué frecuencia piensas en mí? 
Bueno, ustedes copian esta expresión y se lo dicen a la esposa, ¿verdad? <risa> ¿Les parece? Bueno, ahora vamos a la conversación. Lo borro acá. Ok, muy bien. Listen, please. Conversation. Mark says, I really need that memo, Brie. And Brie says, mm, just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. ¿Se acuerdan de Mr. Wilson? El de la lectura, pues es el mismo señor Wilson, ¿verdad? El señor pelota del náufrago. <laughs> It's very important. And Brie says, right away. Right away. Okay, repeat after me. I really need that memo, Bri. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Okay, now, uh, I will make this conversation with some student, right? I will start with Cindy. Cindy, I am Mark, and you are Bree. Right, Cindy? Okay. Okay. Now, uh, I really need that memo, Bree. I really need that no, memo. No, you're Bree. You're Bree. You're Bree. Ah, okay. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, uh, I'm going to make a conversation with Cristina. Ready, Cristina? Okay. Uh, I really need that memo, Brie. Just a moment, please. Okay. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Okay, very good. Pensé que no le iba a decir. Muy bien, lo dijo. Excellent. Thank you, Christy. Now, the opposite, right? I am going to be Brie and Esaú, you're going to be Mark, right? Ready? Esaú? I, I really need that memory. Just a moment, please. Ah, uh -huh, Esaú? I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. Mm -hmm. Continue. Please. <laughs> it's very, it's very. It's very important, right? Say, eso. It's very important. Right away. Okay, very good. <laughs> Now, listen. When you have urgency, cuando hay urgencia de algo, right? Eh, si está bien, Jill. Have a good night, Jill. Bye bye. See you on Tuesday. Recuérdense que el, el lunes no hay clases. El okay. lunes el día de trabajo. El, hasta el martes nos veríamos, ¿verdad? Es suerte. Okay. Es la suerte, sí. Para, miren, para los teachers van a, va a haber a suerte el día lunes. Y para los estudiantes también. Así que vamos a descansar, ¿verdad? Ok. Expression to stay urgency. Number one. is very important. Okay. Number two. I really need. Cuando usamos estas expresiones, estamos diciendo que lo que eh, vamos a decir es muy importante o necesitamos hacerlo. ¿Ok? 
Good. That's it. Now let's continue. Ok, esta parte que viene bien interesante. ¿Cuánto nos quedan? Siete minutitos nada más, ¿verdad? Ok. Esta parte es bien, bien interesante porque nos habla de lo que se llaman idioms. ¿Saben ustedes qué son idioms? Por ejemplo, cuando yo les digo, ¿está lloviendo a cántaros? ¿Ya han escuchado esa expresión? Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? Y ya han escuchado, ay, me costó un ojo de la cara. ¿Ya han escuchado eso? Yes. Yes. Entonces, esos son como idioms, son expresiones que dicen una cosa, pero que pueden significar otra cosa, ¿ok? Look, one by one, vamos a ir uno por uno, ¿ok? Number one, it's raining cats and dogs. Está viviendo chuchos y gatos, you ¿no? Know? Number two, what's cooking? Huh? What's cooking? Number three, I'm tied up right now. Ok. I'll give you a ring tomorrow. Next one. The English test was a piece of cake. And the English test was no picnic. Bien. Eh, estas expresiones pueden ser tomadas literales, ¿verdad? Porque cuando yo digo me costó un ojo en la cara, tengo que señalarme el ojo, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando digo, it's raining cats and dogs, ¿qué se imaginan ustedes? Está lloviendo, perros y gatos, ahí están los miau, 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 miau. Ok, en la número dos, what's cooking? ¿Se imaginan ustedes a alguien que está cocinando, verdad? Y I'm tied up, estoy atado al trabajo, ¿no? estoy atado. ¿Qué se imagina ella? Está bien amarrado ahí, miren. Ok. Sí. Luego dice, I'll give you a ring tomorrow. Te voy a dar un anillo. <ríe> Una campanada, quiere decir, ¿verdad? Y ya ella se imagina, hey, me va a dar un anillo. Y el examen, la tarea de ahora. Miren, it's a piece of cake. Es un pedazo de cake, <ríe> el, el examen. Ok, él se imagina un pedazo de pastel con... La palabra test, ¿verdad? Y luego, the English test was no picnic. Y ya se imagina que él está en tomándose un picnic, ¿verdad? Ok. Muy bien. ¿Pero qué significan estas oraciones? Vamos a verlas juntos. La primera significa, I'll call you. Te llamaré, right? Let it be, it was difficult. Let her see, it was easy. Estaba difícil y el otro dice estaba fácil. Let her D, was new. ¿Qué hay de nuevo? ¿Qué hay de nuevo, muchacho? Was new. And let her E, it's raining hard, very hard. Estoy viendo muy fuerte, ¿verdad? Así como la vez pasada, que para dar inicio del, del mes lluvioso, pues llovió fuerte, ¿verdad? Y luego la letter F dice, I am busy. Estoy ocupado, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué significa cada uno? Number one. It's raining cats and dogs. Letter E. It's raining hard. Cuando ustedes dicen en inglés, it's raining cats and dogs, están diciendo que está lloviendo bien fuerte. ¿Ok? Muy bien. Number two. What's cooking? ¿Qué significa what's cooking? What's cooking? Ajá, uh -huh, please. Cocinando. Ajá, uh -huh, no, no, pero es que eso quiere decir literalmente, ¿verdad? What's según según este, he escuchado, es como qué onda, como qué tal, qué va, qué pasa, uh -huh. o algo así. O letter D, what's new, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando usted dice what's cooking, es como que diga what's new, ¿qué hay de nuevo? Letter D, right? So, number two, si quieren lo ponemos para que no, no nos confundamos. Ok, eh, what's cooking is, what's new. 
letter D. Ok. Next one. I'm tied up right now. Estoy atado, estoy amarrado. Mm -hmm. I'm tied up right now. ¿Qué quiere decir? ¿Qué se imaginan ustedes? I am busy. I am busy. I'm tied up quiere decir I am busy, ¿verdad? Escribamos bueno, entonces. Busy. Vamos a ver si, si nos da los números, ¿eh? Vamos a ver, sí. F. Good. I'll give you a ring tomorrow. ¿Cuál sería? I'll give you a ring. I call you. I'll call you. Very good. Excelentoso. Letter A, right? Okay. And the English test was a piece of cake. ¿Qué quiere decir que es un piece of cake? It was easy. It was easy. Letter C, right? Letter C. And finally, the English test was no picnic. El test de inglés. No era. It was difficult. difficult. It was difficult. Let it be, right? Ok, chicos. Recuérdense que eh, esta presentación se la voy a hacer llegar al grupo. Y ustedes practican, ¿sí? Eh, hoy sí creo que ya se nos acabó el tiempo. Ok. Se nos acabó el tiempo ya, ¿verdad? Jorge, ¿qué tal, Jorge? Pues aquí jugando, teacher. Ya veo, ya veo. Lo tienen ocupadito ahí, ¿verdad? Algo, algo entretenido, me perdí casi toda la clase. Bueno, pero repáseme el video, porque hoy va a tener tiempo. Va a tener sábado, domingo y lunes, ¿verdad? ¿Trabajan el lunes ustedes, Jorge? Pues gracias a Dios, el domingo empiezo ya de día, voy a tener chance en la noche. Excelentoso. Hoy sí va a participar, Jorge. Muy bien. Sí, pero por Dios, porque ya me perdí bastante. Sí, vaya, entonces estas son idioms, mire Jorge. Ay, disculpe, pero desgraciadamente no tuve que perder la clase. No hay problema, usted solo la siguiente clase usted pase la semita con todos y ya queda bien. Está? Ah, <risa> aunque sea en video o foto. Eh, no, en, en, en real, ahí nos manda por Uber. <risa> <risa> es un broma. Bueno, no hay problema. Gracias, teacher. Bueno, bueno, have a good night. Eh, veamos. Good night, Break a leg. Se lo voy a decir porque ya, ya nos acabó el tiempo, ¿verdad? Break a leg significa cuando alguien le dice a otro break a leg, no es que se va, se va a quebrar un pie, no quiere decir buena suerte. Break a leg. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. Hold your tongue. Hold your tongue quiere decir don't bother me. O oh, no, perdón, be quiet. Enrollate la lengua quiere decir be quiet, right? Keep your chin up. Mantén la, la quijada hacia arriba, ¿no? Entonces, says try hard. No, 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 perdón. Este es don't be sad. Don't be sad. No estés triste. La otra ganó, pero no estés triste, ¿ok? Keep your eye on the ball. This is pay attention, right? Put your best foot forward. Poné tu mejor pie. <ríe> si alguien le dice en inglés, poné tu mejor pie. Quiere decir intentarlo. Try hard. Y por último, get off my back. Apártate de mi espalda. <ríe> get off my... Quiere decir no me molestes. Don't bother me, right? Don't bother me. Cuando alguien les le diga a ustedes en Estados Unidos, Get off my back, quiere decir no los esté molestando, ¿verdad? Ok, aquí hay otros, pues ya no nos queda tiempo, ¿sí? Muy bien. So, thank you very much. Solo me quedo unos minutitos más con Eduardo. ¿Estamos listos, Eduardo? Sí, teacher. 
Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Now, vamos a pasar asistencia rapidito, antes que se me duerman. Y nos vamos ya a mimir. Eh, Carlos. Cindy. Present. Ok, good night. Good night, Cindy. Eh, Cristina. Good night, teacher. Good night, Esaú. Good night, teacher. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night. Jill. Jill. Ah, Jill, perdón, si sí, Jill me pidió permiso, sí. Gio Giovanni. Good night, teacher. Good night, God bless you, Giovanni. Beatriz. Good night. Thank you. Jennifer. Good night, teacher. Good night, Jorge. Good night, teacher. Good night, Eduardo. Here. Here, okay. Wait for me, Eduardo. Mario. Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless you. Eh, Oscar. Good night, teacher. Good night, Victor. Good night, teacher. Good night. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you on Tuesday. Feliz fin de semana largo. ¿Verdad? See you on Tuesday. Bueno, bueno. Ok, Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Hello. ¿Usted también trabaja de día o de noche, Eduardo? De día. De día, ah, oh, bueno. Morning, hoy de... <ríe> y usted es compañero de, de Enrique, ¿no? No, 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 no. no. Es que como... Creo que está Oscar, Enrique y son varios compañeros de Avan, creo, sí. Ah, no, yo trabajo para Galvaniza, near to the airport. Ah, ok, Galvaniza, Galvanizadora, right? Sí, Galvaniza, only Galvaniza. Ok, excelente. I heard about this company, yo he escuchado esa compañía, es algo famosa, yes, Galvaniza. Yes, eh, we have a uh, 55... 55 tiendas, eh, store, 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 grocery store, okay. mm -hmm. only, only Central America. In the last two years, eh, it was, it was five or ten, or ten store open in Ecuador. Ecuador, and it's a, a, a Salvadorian company. Yes, it's a Salvadorian company, but the, but the proprietary, Mm -hmm. The owner uh, is, is the Japanese. Oh, the philosophy of the Japanese people is interesting, right? Ohio Gosaimas. Yeah. Ohio Gosaimas, Eduardo San. <laughs> okay. Por ejemplo, ahorita me han dado la oportunidad del inglés corporativo y al mismo tiempo me han dado una beca para estudiar en la universidad. O sea, terminando esto, yo paso con la universidad todos los días. Ah. Oh. O sea, me voy a pasar tipo 11, 12. A veces me duermo, a veces no agarro la U, pero ahí voy. Sí, hay que hacer un esfuerzo. Mire, pues, aquí estamos con sueño todo, pero metiéndole, aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Con and I lost to work, and I, and I lost to work uh, many years ago because uh -huh. I, I don't speak English. And my interest in is learning English a full. Full English. For example, full. for example, oh. I studied uh, in 2000, 2001 in... Uh -huh. In Centro Cultural Salvadoreño. Ah, oh, it's a good place. Uh -huh. And four years ago, in E4CC study. Okay. And now you're with English Corporativo, right? And yes. what do you think of the classes? Are you learning? Yes, I, I learning, but I like to more practice. Of course, yes. And what, what do you think? What are your suggestions, Eduardo? Because... I try you you speak with the conversation, right? Yes, the conversation. Uh -huh. I don't important the topics. Mm -hmm. For me, the the important is practice, practice. all topics okay. because because when I interview for job, eh, eh, the el entrevistador the me habló de, de, de me me habló interviewer, de interviewer. The interviewer eh, Uh, speaking or spoke the no. many topics and I don't answer the, the many topics only the most common the most common right yes 
In this class, the only discussion is the question, right? When I say discussion question, only that. But, but I like when you participate. Eduardo, it's not necessary that, that I say your name. Eduardo, you can raise your hand and say, ah, okay, Eduardo, come on, participate. Because your English is very good, Eduardo. Your English is very good. And then and you participate a lot in my class and, and I like it. I like it. It's nice. Thank you, teacher. And you Thank participate, you. yes. And, and, and you have something very important, Eduardo. You have logic. Logic. Uh -huh. So this is necessary when you speak, right? It's necessary. It's necessary to, to learn English. But, but I haven't, but, but I haven't a, a people or person or for practice. Yeah. And I understand okay. your, and I understand uh, your speak. Uh, I understand all your speak. Uh -huh. I understand. Nice. But I don't speak. So yeah. I need to speak. I need more to speak, but I haven't, I haven't to buy, a, a, but I haven't people to practice. Okay. In the next class, I will, I will remember this, right? I need to practice with with Eduardo, right? Okay. Eh, como por un ejemplo mm. o pedirle, o sea, yeah. nada más denos un ejemplo y pónganos a todos a practicar, pero pero pida lo que sea más fluido, porque yo comprendo y entiendo de que tal vez yo ya lo hablo más fluido cuando yo lo estoy leyendo. Mm. Y hay compañeros que aún leyéndolo tal vez no lo hablan así fluido. Yes. Entonces, pero sí me interesaría que, que, que practicáramos más y que usted pidiera que fuéramos más fluidos. O por lo menos dentro de lo que cabe, ¿verdad? Mejorar mm. un poquito. Yo siento que sí hablo un poquito más fluido y yo necesito hablar fluido. Yes. Por ejemplo, yo le entiendo todo lo que usted me dice. O sea, usted está explicando ahorita sí con este último tema me perdí mucho. Le soy sincero, me perdí mucho porque no lo manejo bien. Y es, es en esos topics que yo le digo que, que, que me quedo corto. Sí, pero eh, le soy honesto, ¿verdad? Este, con un grupo un poquito más como un básico 5, un básico 6 o un intermedio, pues ya, ya la cosa es más fluido. Es más fluido. Más fluido Entonces, si se fija, algunos compañeros, pues les cuesta un poquitito más. Entonces, de modo. Hay yo, que... decidí, yo decidí, yo decidí empezar de cero. Ajá. O sea, como para retroalimentación pero yo en, en E4CC me quedé en la entrevista para avanzado, de ahí no pasaba yo había, ya estaba bien adelantado y después de la entrevista avanzada solo llegan los de Corsener a entrevistar y jalar gente ok, bueno, pero usted por ejemplo ha visto los sitios de internet que le sugerí por ejemplo honestamente ayer y ahora no he tenido chance. Si acaso solo de tomar agua, de medio sentarme y volver a cargar bueno, y atender clientes. Es Son que días... Eduardo, le voy a decir algo. Bueno, yo sé que su trabajo muy le abarca mucho tiempo, pero todo el tiempo libre que le quede, pues usted dedíquele a, ya sea al internet, a la música o a las películas, ¿ok? Ok. Y en esta clase, pues, voy a tomar muy en cuenta lo que usted me ha dicho y cada vez que practiquemos, pues, I would think Eduardo, right? Eduardo, right? And there are some students like uh, that are a little faster, right? They speak well. For example, Beatriz is really good. Beatriz is good. Her pronunciation is good. And Esaú, uh, also Mario. There are some good students, right? And I don't say bad student because never bad student, never. Only is more difficult for some students only, right? That's the only thing. And and I understand that because it's basic too, remember? It's basic. Yes, yeah, it's basic too. <laughs> and, and I don't need for time practice with, with a partner uh, speak a little. I don't need for time because I think the, the partner learning in the future. Uh-huh, of course. When you are in basic six, now oh, I hope you speak I mean, the group, not you, right? But the group speak better, right? I hope that. That's it. Okay, so, uh, Eduardo, it was a pleasure for me to speak with you. And and thank you for staying very late tonight. <laughs> no, no problem. Okay. And what finishes conversation with you, I continue that they prepare for a, a homework that mm -hmm. the expression orally escrita is very hard. I know. Very difficult. <laughs>
Okay. Thank you very much, Eduardo, and congratulations for your English. Eh? Goodbye. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Tuesday. Good night. Tuesday. 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 Okay. Tuesday. Yeah. See you Tuesday.